Hi everyone, I'm Carl B. Johnson and welcome to module one of our cybersecurity awareness training, understanding cybersecurity and common threats. This course is all about helping you protect yourself and your organization from digital threats that are growing every single day. Whether you're new to cybersecurity or just need your annual refresher, you're in the right place. So let's start with the basics. When people hear the word cybersecurity, they often think of hackers and dark rooms typing lines of code, but cybersecurity is really about one thing, protecting information. That means your data, your company's data, and the systems we all rely on. Cybersecurity isn't just an IT issue, it's a team sport. Every single person plays a role. Now, let's talk about something you'll hear a lot. The CIA triad. No, not that CIA. This one stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality means keeping information private, making sure only the right people have access. Integrity means keeping data accurate. No one changes or deletes it without permission. And availability means making sure systems and information are ready when you need them. If one of those three areas is broken, confidentiality, integrity, or availability, cybersecurity is at a risk. Let's put this into perspective with an example. Imagine you work in finance and someone emails you pretending to be your boss, asking for a wire transfer. You rush to send it, but it was a phishing email. You didn't lose a server or get hacked, but confidentiality was broken because information fell into the wrong hands. Or maybe an employee accidentally deletes customer data. That's a loss of integrity. Or as another example, maybe ransomware locks your systems for days. That's a loss of availability. See how these three work together? Most cybersecurity incidents come down to one or more of them being compromised. Now, who are the people behind these attacks? We call them threat actors. They can come in all shapes and sizes. But here are the most common types I've seen over the years. One is cyber criminals trying to steal money or information. Then you have hacktivists trying to make a political statement. You also have nation states targeting infrastructure or defense, or sometimes even insiders, employees or contractors who misuse access. Not every threat comes from outside the company. In fact, many breaches start with human error. Clicking the wrong link, downloading the wrong file, or using password 123. Does that sound familiar? I'll pause here while you go change your password to something stronger. Let's talk about some of the most common types of threats you'll encounter. One we have is malware, which is short for malicious software, like viruses, spyware, or ransomware that infect your system. Next, we have phishing. Fake emails or messages designed to trick you into revealing sensitive information. Then we have ransomware, software that locks your files until you pay a ransom. And yes, even small businesses get hit. Next up we have is social engineering which is manipulating people rather than technology, tricking someone into giving up access or information. Next up we have is insider threats, people who already have access but misuse it, either intentionally or by mistake. Here's something people 
don't realize. You don't have to be an expert to stop 90% of cyber attacks. Simple actions like checking links before clicking, updating your software, locking your computer when you step away, those small habits make the biggest difference. It's not about being paranoid, it's about being aware. Now, before we move to the quiz, I want you to remember one thing. Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. The IT team can set up firewalls, antivirus, and monitoring tools, but they can't stop someone from clicking a phishing link. That's where you come in. Your awareness is the first and most important line of defense. Great job completing module one. Up next, we'll dive into something that affects almost everyone. Phishing, social engineering, and AI threats. But first, let's check your understanding with a quick three question quiz.